Hey guys, it's Richard Official Nato Channel and Reese.com and we're on the floor of Reefer Palooza Orlando 2019. And this is actually first time for me to be here. I'm here with my friends with Jason and Curtis of Milwaukee Instruments. They're the, the, one of the finest makers, precision makers of instruments that you could use in our aquariums. And today, Jason wants to tell us about something that's so essential, simple, but essential in our hobby. Jason, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Good, good, good. Thank you. Now, what do you have, have us for here today? Okay, so I want to discuss uh, salinity. Okay, so what we have here is a seawater digital refractometer, one of our top selling items. Mm -hmm. All you do is basically put the sample on the well here, hit your read button, mm -hmm. it's going to give you your salinity, specific gravity. Right. Now, does it only give you the specific gravity or does it also give you a... Uh it can give you PSU and PPT as well. Gotcha, because like parts per thousand, I usually go with that because it's much more, I don't know, I like, I like the accuracy of the parts per, parts per thousand. You know, it's funny because I actually use this for close to about like five, six years. And what I really like about this is that it reads, it reads also the temperature of the water and, you know, it kind of like adjust accordingly. I was going to say it does include the automatic temperature compensation as well. Gotcha. And how does use this unit work? Turn the unit on. Only use distilled water to zero it out. You got a zero button right here in the middle. Right. So you put your distilled water sample up here, zero it out, wipe the prism, mm -hmm. and then just simply apply your, your aquatic water up here, hit the read button. That's all there is to it. Gotcha. Now, quick question. A lot of people use RODI. Is that okay? No, it is not okay. Oh. RODI does have some purities in it versus distilled water does not. Uh huh. So it is essential to use distilled water when zeroing out this unit. Gotcha. So that's, I guess, that's a common misconception that we may have because I actually used it like that for about five years or so. Yeah. Gotcha. So I could potentially have a wrong readings. You could, and I, that's that's a very common question that I do get. Gotcha. So for uh, for accuracy, what is the margin of uh, variable of error on this unit? Okay, so when you're uh, measuring a specific gravity with this unit, the margin of area error, excuse me, is 0 .002, plus or minus. Gotcha. And how long does a, like a battery on this, like something like this, will last? Oh wow, if you, if you leave it on continuously, generally a 9 volt will last you about 70 hours. Wow. But this thing has an auto turn off at certain points, It right? does. I, I believe it's after uh, two minutes of non-use, it'll automatically shut off. So much more than 70 hours because it will turn off automatically. Absolutely. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so let's do some demonstration here and then we can see the difference between like an old hydrometer with the swing arms, reflectometer, and this digital unit that will show you the numbers on hand. Sure. All right. All right, guys, once again, this was Richard Aficionado with my friend Jason in Milwaukee, and we're at the show floor of Reef Cruiser Orlando 2019 Milwaukee booth once again. And we showed a very important um, comparisons between all the different measurements that, that you could use, equipments that you use to measure salinity. While it's very simple, it is essential. Saltwater hobby, salinity, it should be very com like common sense to everybody how important this thing is. And this is a very important option. Well, very good option for you to have and to see. And, and I think it's when it's easy, people will do it. Absolutely. And, and I think this is some, definitely a good option for you to check out. For me, it, it has been a fail-safe uh, unit. And if you guys are in a, uh, a market for a reflectometer, I definitely strongly recommend you check them out. Have a great day, guys, and thank you so much for Jason. Thank you, Richard. Okay.